Okey, so um, jawab soalan Nasrullah tadi uh, boleh faham eh? Say, uh, our test will be around uh, say about 2 hours and it will be subjective. Okay, it's just that uh, today I will be adjusting uh, the questions uh, in you learn. I'm still uh, editing some of the questions. So, uh, I want to see whether or not you are able to uh, answer in you learn or you can download and then upload your answer. So, uh, give me time to set, uh, uh, set our testing by today. And if anything, I'll just let know in either in WhatsApp or in our uh, Microsoft Teams, I'll let you know, okay? Oh, and also announce you learn. Okay, boleh faham eh? Semua eh? Uh, saya tengah saya um, still editing <coughs> the question for uploading in ULEARN It's just that saya nak kena check sama ada kamu boleh jawab dekat ULEARN ke ataupun kamu kena download dulu jawab and then upload semula Itu saya nak saya nak kena check macam mana sistem yang sebaiknya saya nak kamu jawab dalam ULEARN sendiri lah Ok uh, dan uh, apa tu and then kamu tak payah upload apa-apa tapi mungkin ada satu soalan tu mungkin kena sama ada kena upload atau download uh, kena download dan upload semula itu saya tak Uh, saya tak habis setting, saya saya tekan by today lah. Okay, uh, okay so uh, we miss a few lectures. Uh, so I'm hoping uh, for to I'll finish some of the lecture videos and uh, for to then we can uh, for to then I think a lot of uh, you can uh, catch up with some of the topics that be Uh, cover lah, okay. Um, as uh, I think moment uh, asked in the group WhatsApp, uh, the the topic is until lecture 5, okay. So you uh, for midterm, so you can at least refer the uh, lecture notes and the our the textbook is covered until those topics, okay. You can also refer to the um, textbooks that I shared in our WhatsApp group uh, for. Uh, you can also uh, uh, let know uh, your friends in uh, in group. Uh, okay, so I think we'll start straight away first for today's uh, uh, lab. Okay. So this is the uh, our lab sheet. I already uploaded uh, today, uh, this morning. <laughs> just this morning, I just uploaded. Okay, so this is regarding um, the connection between materials uh, environment and using the eco selection function in the in the software uh, on how we uh, we can relate. Uh, the design, uh, especially for concern of environment, okay, uh, environmental concern with uh, design uh, in materials design, and we know because of uh, of uh, nowadays, I mean, it's a, uh, it's it's actually not new. It's been going on since, um, well, it's actually in the, uh, I mean, in the late nine. I think it was late early 90s early 1990s and then uh, and then people uh, uh, more concerned of climate change and everything okay so because during the early 90s because of uh, I'm sorry late 80s uh, because of the explosion of the uh, use of uh, plastic materials Uh, petroleum uh, industry is uh, anything that, that 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 is related to petroleum uh, is uh, booming, and then people notice that uh, the the usage of plastics or non biodegradable materials has uh, have a negative impact with the environment because it takes because previously when we used uh, for example paper or even uh, our metals, they, they degrade easily, they will, the materials can uh, can uh, be uh, buried and then degrade easily uh, in, the, in the environment. But when, when we deal with plastics, it'll take uh, decades, even uh, centuries for the material to, to degrade. And so they let that uh, in the future, if we don't, um, 
uh, control or make our materials or our products sustainable, then uh, we have so much waste and then the, it will be effect, uh, detrimental effect to the environment. Okay? So uh, that's why uh, the, the software has this kind of function okay, relating uh, to how a material uh, uh, and it can the design how it affects the environment. Okay, uh, that's some of the uh, the uh, the opening or, or on how it came to be. Okay, so I I haven't I haven't covered in the in the lecture yet, but this this term, okay, embodied um, energy. Okay, is defined as the energy required to extract one kilogram of material from its ores and feedstock. Actually, not only this this embodied energy doesn't does not uh, only uh, the one that we are concerned of. Actually, the energy for processing, the energy for uh, I mean for uh, even involved with the uh, with the coating or shaping or everything. So those energy are also of concern. It's just that uh, we in our earlier uh, on this specific discussion, we talk about the embodied energy. Okay, so uh, so first we start. Okay, for example, we take a look at the embodied energy and carbon CO two footprint of materials when based on the amount of one kilogram of each material produced. Okay, and this means that the amount of energy required to acquire one kilogram of each material, also the CO two footprint to acquire uh, one kilogram of the material. Okay. Uh, okay. Apa tu? Ida ya, eh, ida. tolong mute sejak. Ida ti. Okay, mm. so this is level two. Okay, so uh, this is the eco audit. Okay, so it says here uh, choose graph first in the six stages for y axis, choose CO2 footprint primary production, and x axis for the onboard energy primary production. Then click OK and then click on uh, identify to easily identify the material. So click on this one graph. And the uh, properties graph for the y axis. Says, uh, primary material production, and for the And for the X axis, we used uh, embodied energy primary production. Okay. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> so on our X axis. The embodied energy here, as as uh, I mentioned just now, is how much energy uh, is being that we need to uh, generate to extract one kilogram. Okay, that's why it says here per kilogram. If you if you if you don't get this unit, is you have to just edit uh, in the options and then change uh, units here. Eh? Okay, use uh, metric or SI unit. It will be. Uh, Will come up with if you get pounds or everything, okay. You can change to there. So this is is what's it defined as uh, the how much energy to get uh, one kilogram of the material. So the highest here is gold. Okay, how, uh, gold is the highest amount of energy that we need to extract one uh, kilogram of the uh, material. And over here is the carbon um, CO two footprint primary production, meaning that to how much carbon footprint per kilogram uh, of kilogram that we generate if we when we want to uh, uh, get one kilogram of the material 
okay, how much uh, carbon CO2 we emit okay, when we get, when we want to get uh, one kilogram of the material. Okay, so the polymers, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere around. You know, this is natural material. Yeah, uh, this is these are polymers. Okay, on the uh, blue shade uh, tinge here, you see this, those are the, the, the group of the uh, polymers. Okay. And I remember that has uh, the same or lowest uh, at three kilogram at the lowest per kilogram. Okay, so when we set limit. Here we want the uh, embodied energy. No, sorry, CO2. CO2 maximum equals to 3 kilogram per kilogram, 3 kilogram of CO2. So we apply. So then we got uh, from 100, we got 37 materials. And we want to know only the polymers. So what we can do, we click on the uh, function for 3. And then we choose uh, polymers here, since we want only to know for polymers only, not other material. So we click on insert. Click OK. So only five of the polymers left. Okay, that meet uh, five polymers that only uh, that less than three kilograms of CO2 per kilogram of one material that we need to extract. So. Uh, that is uh, simple. So, uh, you just you just have to uh, sorry. So, uh, screenshot this chart, okay, and also the list of materials here. So, just paste on the um, uh, on the result one and result two. Uh, so very simple. So, <clears throat> so what does this? Uh, it shows that. <clears throat> These are the five types of, uh, remember, you have to understand what it means by the CO2, meaning that to get, to produce one kilogram of this material, uh, we only, uh, we only emit only three kilograms of CO2. Okay, so the, these five are, and the lowest is actually uh, starch-based thermoplastics, TPS. And I think some of, um, and some of, uh, I think, for example, uh, some of my colleagues actually are doing uh, research using starch-based thermoplastics here. Okay, uh, it has very low, uh, almost one kilogram of uh, CO2 per one kilogram of uh, starch paste that we that you extract. Okay, so uh, again, that's very uh, straightforward. So you need you you relate with how much CO2 uh, footprint and also how much uh, energy that you generate. Okay, and also it generates only about less than, I think here somewhere around uh, 40 uh, megajoule uh, per one kilogram uh, that value and the highest is uh, PP and uh, polyethylene. Okay, uh, uh, for the polymers. Okay, so that is the first part. And then we relate on the, the embodied energy per uh, cubic meter per volume. Okay, uh, one kilogram of a uh, material is by weight, uh, sorry, by by mass, and for the for volume is a bit uh, different because uh, one uh, cubic uh, meter of uh, of a material, it means that is it means that how much of that meter we can use to generate the the product. If just one kilogram, of course, if uh, materials have higher density, there will be the volume is be much lower. If a material as a lower density, then the volume is will be much larger. Okay, that's the uh, relation. Okay, um, so again, we start off with the level two, and uh, for ICS, we again choose the embodied energy uh, primary production. Okay, and I click insert uh, advanced. Okay, uh, sorry for what axis we choose the CO two footprint again. Uh, we don't change the, the y-axis. For the x-axis, we just use the M energy insert and then choose density and click insert. Okay. So, um, I'll just edit this stage. Uh, y-axis, I don't change. I just change the uh, x-axis. 
So here, I put in the asterisk and then I click on density. Click OK. And OK. So here you have the embodied energy of primary production times the density. Okay, meaning that this is how much uh, energy we produce, uh, we, we generate to produce one cubic meter. Okay, if you notice, uh, it doesn't have unit here. Okay, the reason being because uh, uh, the embodied energy, if you remember, uh, previously the unit was megajoule over kilogram and the density is the is kilogram over cubic meter so if we uh, if we multiply it then we cancel the the mass and we get the, the density okay so that's how we get uh you understand spam tak yang apa maksud saya bila when we generate with according to the 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 the, the, the this one Yes, uh, I asked to put in asterisk here. So the asterisk is there, multiply, choose density here, to insert. Okay. <clears throat> so again, the same thing, less than three kilograms. So maybe the same, okay. Very much. And again, we get the same answer. Okay, we get the same answer for the lowest uh, carbon footprint, lowest embodied energy per uh, volume. Okay, the same five. Uh, is it the same five? I can't remember. I can't, I'm not sure. So uh, you can check. Uh, it should be the same, the same five materials. Okay, the same uh, five materials of the lowest. Uh, Density. So this is the chart for result three. Okay, this here will be the chart for uh, result three, and the answer for result four will be the the materials uh, left here. Okay, so result three the, the chart and the final material candidates in result four. Okay. <coughs> okay. So next we move on to. Boleh paham tak sekarang ni yang function eco ni? Uh, related to can are uh, anyone wants to ask anything hmm? boleh faham boleh faham anyone senyap anyone can both at least uh, respond if uh, whether or not you guys boleh fake hmm? yeah Boleh saya boleh. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, then I'll move on. Okay. So a maker of PP garden furniture is concerned that the government is stealing part of his market by climate transition material program to cast iron is uh, much less uh, much less energy as so CO2 intensive than PP. Okay, polypropylene -poly 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 help the function by using the chest based on that you then that to produce in 5.0 eh sorry it should be one not 5.0 it should be uh, um, 2.4 it is the last five years and the class last 25 years that's the conclusion change okay so how this is a, uh, an example of uh, how we use the uh, the the database and the, on the charts uh, in the in the CS edu pack to help determine uh, whether or not uh, the <coughs> the material that's being used for a product uh, is sustainable or is much uh, is less uh, I mean have uh, effect on the environment. Uh, okay, so so. Uh, the, the 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 procedure that we choose again level two and uh, with, with uh, equal properties okay uh, so choose graph and and y axis for the co2 footprint again the same maintain and the axis we we 
choose just the embodied energy primary production. Okay, so we edit the again. The y axis we don't change, we just change the x axis. Okay, okay, so we're back at this stage. Okay, mm. so click family element to easily identify. So it's already done. Oh, okay, let me remove the stage here. Delete stage. Delete stage. Okay, so we're back at this stage. Okay, so choose uh, three function: open method alloy, open ferrous gas ion, and then we choose the polymers and elastomers, open polymers and open thermoplastic for and select PP. Uh, we select first cast iron, gray, and then PP. Okay, so choose here three metals and alloy ferrous uh, cast iron gray and then we put in polymers polymers thermoplastic we choose PP insert. Okay, so these two are we left we just there to materials okay okay material of cast iron and uh, pp is visible okay so we put we paste in the uh, section chart okay now uh, wait. yeah okay so you see here this is cast iron and this is PP. If we rank by the CO2, okay, we see the value here. Cast iron carbon CO2 print for one kilogram of uh, cast iron. We produce around 1.65 uh, CO2 uh, uh, and then 1.75 until around the range of 1.75. Uh, for PP, to get one kilogram of the material, we generate around almost three to three three point three uh, kilogram and for the energy if you look here uh, cast iron we only generate about 17 megajoule until 21 megajoule per one kilogram and for polypropylene we generate about almost 76 megajoule to 80 uh, 84 almost 84 megajoule per kilogram okay so uh, if you see here okay uh, which which is more environmentally uh, friendly to the uh, to the environment uh, between the two material okay and so we just paste the chart uh, you just paste this chart here and with the with the answers uh, and showing these uh, two uh, values here uh, on the uh, on the answer for result five and finally for the discussion okay and then from the chart you provided it shows comparison of the impact of the two materials when trying to produce the same amount of material you need to to uh, generate one kilogram it's the same okay infer and discuss meaning that i want you to uh, uh, theorize okay whether whether pp uh, has a better eco property or his competitor meaning the one that you use there uh, the cast iron claim that has better eco property uh, a typical pp chair weighs about 1.6 kilogram and one made of cast iron weighs about 8.5 kilogram so if the polypropylene chair lasts five years and the cast iron chair lasts 25 years that's the conclusion change so, so okay, when you point your first label of it you can see the average value okay uh, use the rest of the weight of the cheat chair when pro provided with the material for your discussion. Okay. So use those information. Okay. And discuss in the uh, inside here. Okay. So between uh, getting a, a cast iron chair, uh, we, we have to, uh, for one uh, chair using cast iron, uh, we use about, oh, about 8.6 kilograms of the material of cast iron. Whereas for a PP chair, 
uh, you only use about 1.6 kilogram even though it has higher uh, energy consumption okay for the energy to produce as compared to cast iron but it has different uh, mass and also uh, last uh, longer as composed as opposed to pp so uh, does that change uh, the the so you use those information to uh, use some you need to use some uh, calculation okay or uh, i mean to justify your answer and put it inside the discussion okay hmm. yeah, boleh faham eh? boleh sir. okay okay all right okay so uh, that is uh, for the for our uh, lab okay uh, uh, well, I don't want to take any lo uh, longer time. That's that is just uh, showing you how to answer. So just today you complete this. Uh, oh man, I have to. Uh, let me upload the correct version here. Okay. Uh, and so that uh, wait this one. Mm. Okay, so use the latest one that I just upload just now that you, uh, you saw there. Okay, uh, use this one, complete it and just submit. So I, I give you until today, until the end of the day for you to complete this uh, lab, uh, lab sheet. Okay, uh, you have any question, uh, just uh, text here or in the WhatsApp group. Okay, regarding anything. Uh, and regarding our for our mid term tomorrow, uh, I'll update. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll upload everything in you learn. Uh, if there's any changes, I'll let you know in our in either this group or in this uh, Microsoft Teams uh, tech, uh, chat function, or uh, you can uh, or in, in also in you learn and also in WhatsApp group. Okay. So uh, if anyone does not have any questions, uh, so thank you very much for your uh, attention today. Okay. Uh, if anyone uh, last, ada, ada soalan nak tanya ke? Saya so, tenen dari sign saya. Eh, tenen dari sign. Untuk today tak boleh sign. Ah yes for today. Uh, you use the uh, yang lab session ni kan? Tenen lab kan? Ah tenen lab Thursday. Hmm? Nampak tak boleh? Listener seorang je tak boleh ke? Orang lain boleh? Yang lain. Dia Ini macam self present tu tak ada pun. Apa dia? Self present dia ada biasa ada button tu tak ada pun. Uh, ni indah dah dah sikit dah self recorded ni. Ada seorang dah dah klik dah. Sekejap Tengok. saya cerah dulu. Hmm. Kamu ambil yang mana? Bukan yang replacement. Saya pun tak tak boleh sih. Tak ada dia punya submission Buk, tu. Bukan yang replacement tu tau. Yang hari hari ni eh, bukan yeah. yang setiap Khamis tu. Tengok sini, kan ada dua ni kan? Kau tak ada dua ni kan? So jangan pilih yang ini, yang ini lah.
yang pakai yang 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 nombor dua ni pakai yang ini. Boleh ke, Krishnan? Tak boleh je, sama macam tadi je. Okay, okay, tunjukkan uh, share screen kamu. Sekejap je. Share, share your screen. Boleh nampak saya? Tak ada pun tak keluar. Ah, dia begini. Biasa dia ada self present. So bila kita tekan dia boleh lah. Boleh refresh? Refresh kejap. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Kristian, uh, refresh. Uh. Baik. Okay. Okay. Uh. Saya tak boleh Ok sekejap eh Apa dah standard Masa program hmm, Selalu ok hmm. Ok cuba balik Nggak ada Ok ok alright Ok alright thanks Ok ok welcome Ok Ok uh, Krishna you can uh, Stop sharing ni lah Ok sir Thank okay. you Ok So everyone uh, update your attendance and then just upload the lab sheet. Okay. And uh, uh, regarding the test, then I'll just, uh, mm. excuse me. Krishna dah terus keluar dah. Eh tak. And then, uh, uh, apa tu, again, if, if there's any changes, I'll let you know in the, in our Microsoft Teams here or in our WhatsApp group. Okay, everyone. So, thank you uh, very much for attending today. Okay, uh, stay safe uh, and then uh, take care. Uh, to, so, uh, if you still have any questions on the on the subjects and uh, anything that you don't understand, okay, you can uh, check in. Uh, you can refer uh, to our textbooks or you, uh, and then you can ask me anytime in the whatsapp group or in microsoft teams okay so if i don't answer uh then and there i'll just have you know, i'll just check uh, once in a while and then uh, if if there's any uh misunderstanding or that you want clarification then i'll just answer uh when i'm free okay so okay thank you very much assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh have a great day bye thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir you're welcome okay, bye